Um, some of you may be thinking, but what happened to the pole that forced my character a class? Well, that'll be a separate series given about a week time frame, give or take, so that if anyone wants to actually join me, there's plenty of time to figure out a schedule for it. However, the one that I'm starting today is going to be the enabling revengeance mode that's part of the Calamity mod. Which pretty much buffs every boss and just makes it exceedingly more difficult. You know what? I'll actually keep that. Uh, let's give the eyes a nice that color. Create base. Uh, I don't okay. join VIP. Uh, must be this one. Temporarily, just have a password on the server. This is my, yeah, figure to do something like this. Uh, okay. Exit. Restart Terraria again. As I was about to say, this will be my first time actually getting into the world, so I have no clue whether or not it is even going to, like, for work at first try. And judging by that, it probably won't. I'm going to try connecting in single player. Single player buzz season three. Okay. Um, maybe let's try. Um, I feel like if I set it on a small world, there might be too many structures spawning for pretty much any of them to spawn how they should. But, I can try it and see. Because the magma biome from Antares, I think, will probably overwrite the biome from Thorium, the underwater one. And then the Calamity and Spirit biomes might fight with each other, then... One of the other mods I have installed is QRT's added content, which supposedly adds a Sky Fortress, but that may get overwritten by other things also. Uh, random. Revengeance 3. Um, hmm. Well, judging from that, see, that lags too much. Uh, no. Uh, let's do Tower of Guns. Maybe some Black Ice? Or was that 
Or did that lag the other day too? Yeah, hard to remember. I'll try it out in a bit. Mm, let's not launch another one. Okay. Full screen mode. And... Is it launching another one? No. Uh, what? Is my controller affecting it? Or is it actually lagging? Save that first. Okay, let's go with Keg Shooter. Why is Okay, that's strange. Game mode. Okay. Uh, let's go... Uh, Tolerate. Endless mode enabled, silly dialogue enabled. Okay, let's see. So, first thing to do, always step back in there and grab. Okay, so it's the. Wait, is that. Why is there. Okay, the stream's picking up on that. Is that nope? No, perhaps I should have taken the no self damage thing. see myself getting in some difficult situations with uh, like not being able to shoot when some things are in front of me like that in this room is maybe up no it's pretty sure there was a secret in this room but I won't be I wouldn't be able to get to it with what I currently have at least I'm pretty sure do a quick run around just to be sure
range to effectively just point and click at them. If I remember correctly, there is a secret in this area, yeah. The place with actual stairs. And fall damage if you speed off too fast. Then was it one of these? No. One of the later area later areas that have similar. Ooh. Fifty-eight for additional crit chance. I feel like that's a definite. Oh. Smart turrets shooting ahead of my character. Uh, I need three more coins, but I'm not gonna be able to get those coins. Spikes. Big ol' spike room. Lagging just a little too much. I forget, did I decide? I don't think I can remember whether or not. Um, let's see, is it this folder? Let's play some of this. So, I got it from the Humble tr Monthly Trove thing. It's Star Wars Rogue, a roguelike mech shooter, I guess you could call it. Well, top-down mech shooter. I forget what exactly the supposed story for it is. The one thing I can remember is that it's... Uh, no. Exit to main menu. Start new run. Easy. A uh, random thing and let's go. Okay, so I have a sound wave shot thing. Alpha ray. Prototype ray gun that can fire through enemies. Alpha sh slugger. Prototype shotgun that can fire electrified slugs. Still in the alpha phase, the charge regulator is unstable, causing electro electrical charge fluctuations. And the default mis missile launcher able to break down uh, these things, actually. Incineration module. Uh, I don't want to grab most of this just yet. Okay. Uh, looks like the stream's picking up on it well enough. Get more stuff that I don't want to pick up on just yet. Ooh. Two health shards in there. But how do I get in? More missiles. Is 
See, but these barriers I can't destroy with my rockets. These flashing ones I can, but they aren't the ones that were over in the previous room. Okay, and these things are one-way blockers. Occasionally you can get it just right to shoot through it. Or if you just have enough attack speed. Something that are in shops that are teleporters. You can see what room you're in because it'll flash, but then when you're standing above a teleporter, you can. Ashton. You can see where the teleporter, what room the teleporter would take you to. are like almost always worth it, especially with all the missiles that I appear to have found on the floor. So far at least. Ooh, okay. Some guns are easier to shoot through walls than others. Enemies, certain enemies have just straight up wall piercing shots, which are kind of annoying some of the time, but this mech seems to have bouncing, yeah, bouncing ones that as long as it's only one tile walls can shoot through. Come on. Fairly decently. Normally, I wouldn't have the fiery area of effect thing. Let's see, 41 experience to level up. case I should be able to pretty much just finish this room which as you may have noticed I have taken several shots but I haven't actually taken any damage it's because there's shields that recharge each floor um, that then well, not each floor, each room. The, each new room you enter, you get a new shield recharge. Occasion and you can also go th back through old rooms and get another sh sh shield recharge. So pretty much it's any time you enter a room. Let's see. Let's see if we're... Six miss. Ooh, actually. So, these blinking. Oh, I see your room unlocked. Okay. But these blinking landmine. Not landmines, blockers. Ooh, that's pretty good. Hmm. Yeah. 
Sadly, it doesn't count towards other, I guess you could call it devil deals. No, that's more of a Binding of Isaac reference. Ooh, yeah, that's why I still need to play. Some Binding of Isaac. Uh, but it costs some health and ramps up gradually. Or not so gradually, I guess. But I don't think the discount actually qualifies for the Devil Deal shops, which are a little annoying. These things are health shards, as you may have seen me pick up from the glowing rock I destroyed. Which I need to actually go over and collect the other ones in this room. When I collect six of them on easy, get another point of health, just base. Uh, no, what that, yeah, that's a good spot. Uh, no, what, yeah, it's worth it. Blow up this. Only collect one of the double missiles. The enemies down here, yeah, this one, can shoot through walls and the sparkle sparkler effect that is left behind by the bullets that can still hit me. So you have to be careful of those guys. Far too often, I'm. I see myself get hit by things, but then it doesn't actually hit me. Not one of these dudes. Okay. I'm stuck though. But far too often, I'll see something hit me and I'll think I've been hit, but I'll have actually managed to dodge it somehow. But then other times, I will see myself dodge it and just get completely destroyed by the thing. So for instance, the thing that did 2 damage to me. Then the reason why I'm trying not to pick up all the stuff directly off is, with level ups, I have a chance of getting a perk that will like double the credits or give me additional perks when I pick up the credits like more missiles, more whatever uh, however it appears I'm not lucky for now bonus damage with this attack speed is probably the most important bit of that level up Um, that's a mini boss room that apparently I'm going into. Okay, Paragon. There's worse. Um, you can get various things for like no health. No damage bosses. Do I have enough money? I think I do. Oh, I do not. Oh, well, at least I got a heal. jump one more. 
Sunder. Okay. If I remember this boss correctly, it's a fairly air boss fight. And pretty much all of the boss fights are just a lot of bullet hell dodging. No, I got hit. Yeah. Uh, ooh, gain plus 10 t key cards. That's pretty useful. Railgun. Yeah, incineration is more useful for right now. Okay. Uh, miniature black hole. Yeah. Could be better, could be worse. And it was this room, yeah. But key cards are very hard to come by. But they're used by a lot. Of stuff. Uh, I still only have 30 credits, but I might get something in here. Yeah, that's pretty good. Okay, I want to pick up another missile. Uh, I should have just went back through to the dark room. It would have been faster than this way. I'm not sure if there's like a speedrun perk or if I just haven't unlocked it yet. I haven't played enough runs where the game didn't corrupt my save data. After this second run. Okay. Ooh. Nice. Ten missiles. Okay, so like this guy shoots a shield that will block my projectiles. And then these things repulse all types of bullets. Causing for some weird aiming, but also for a fairly good place to just attack without worrying about defending or dodging. Mostly useless stuff, but occasionally you can get, like, for instance, keys. Oh yeah. So, another, the energy weapon mechanic is similar to the shields, except each weapon has a different amount of energy cost. Pretty much all of the, we the weapons can be used by every mech. Type. It just depends on how many shots it has. 
and it recharges on a new on the room basis same with the shields uh, okay. it's this one yeah and then this one teleports out here yeah I'll do the boss right now main boss I mean There is a sprint mechanic, but more often than not, I will sprint into the bullets that I'm trying to dodge. Ooh. Battering ram. And no. Upon taking damage, you get short burst of invulnerability and boost to fire rate and movement speed. All freshly mined health shards are refined as healing shards. Or 20% in global damage. Um, global damage is always useful. Plus then I can go a little longer without having to have my 25% damage increase disappear. Okay, three points of health. Because I think this is the cheap shot. for that last bit. Weapons. Ooh, by 50. Mm, that's debatable. But what I'll probably want to do is depending on how much health I have when I fight when I go to fight the front boss of the floor I'll want to come back and either heal or fight the boss and then heal I think that's the first time I've seen that green split thing my extra damage So here's the boss. Uh, let's pick up that and use it on this. And level health increase. Stop it. The ankle biters are the ones that will shoot out around the character and then have them come in from behind. For instance, biting your ankle. Nifty that. Okay. And then, so when you first enter a room, there'll be a slight thing of invulnerability where you can't shoot, and it's mostly so you can look around. them are pretty good, but I don't have enough health then, because I don't currently have enough damage to kill a boss without 
really taking damage. Consumable shop. Okay. You know what? Yeah. 55. Energy drink, mysterious circuit, and nanite launcher. Okay, I want to go to the cheap shop. Um, I need to get hit. Bam. Let's see. Got extra key cards and missiles, maybe? Yeah. Come on. Surely there's a closer room than this. Apparently not. This is one of the almost problematic bosses. Because once those bullets hit the back wall and start rebounding, that's when it starts being problematic. Okay, but I prevented it from happening. Or is it these bullets? I think it's one of them. Faster, maybe. Ooh, gives ten times global damage boost on bosses. Uh, yeah, I'll do the damage boost. Yeah, and I'll do the spread shot. Using any energy. Okay. As long as I don't. No. The entrance is this side. As long as I don't right click. Which actually, settings. Uh, Unedit controls. Use energy system. Sure. Because then I can right click as much as I want, but I won't be able to have it actually do anything. Okay, that's a. Fire rate by 10%. Rhythm Stinger. Even faster attack rate may not seem smart right now, but since I can't even use the other item until I leave this floor. attack speed means more bullets. And that's something else you can do because of the shield. Because once the shield breaks, it gives you a little bit of invulnerability frames, so you don't just instantly die in a beam of some sort. And there's the Devil Deal Shop. Aww. Oh. Is use it to escape trap rooms, for instance, because you can just tank any damage for like 
three seconds or something. You can also use these repulsors to send your bullets at much further range than previously. Let's see. So you have plenty of key cards and plenty of missiles. Maybe, but it isn't as much as I would want to be then on one health with one rechargeable health. And then these spinny dudes only fire when you shoot them. Yeah, there's that thing's controller. Okay. Ooh, plus 50 max energy. Nice. Oh, wait, no. Okay, um, so too many boss fights. The free item room is in the top right. Uh, have to get past the mini boss to get to it. And then cheap item room is way over there. And then that's a defense room. So this is just run away from the things that chase you. <sighs> okay. Where's the... I don't have any healing yet. Let's see. Where can I teleport from? Do. Can get that, though. Uh, that's slightly closer to where I need to go. Okay, there's the health. But some of those bosses, for instance, that one, uh, are just kinda cheap, because you can't really do anything to get away from that, because you can't shoot them. So it's purely based on running and avoiding things, and some of the rooms for it. Uh, yeah, I'll keep the FDL. Cause like I even had the FDL drive, which only is like a 10% movement speed increase or something like that. But I still wasn't able to run away from them. At the proficiency that it would need so you didn't get hit at all by them. Luckily, the ones where you can't shoot, you also don't necessarily die. Okay, all sorts of... health and other things. Mostly health, though. And then I just going back another max health from the shards Ooh. this is an interesting area why was it still shooting at me? it was dead Max missiles again. Because now I pretty much have as many missiles as I'll almost ever need. A fire is always useful.
more missiles. Ooh, and the third. Twenty energy. Eh, I'll get fifty extra. Mm, where am I? Right there. Okay. Uh, there. Oh yeah, these chaser shots are annoying because they can bounce off walls. So they'll just continue chasing you. Bouncing off walls. And just until they actually disappear. switch the game. So I've just been playing this game on the wrong stream title. Let me switch that real quick. Versus Star Ward Rogue. Uh. Yes, Star Wars Rogue doesn't have... That's kind of strange. For some reason, Star Wars Rogue doesn't have a... Um, a usable game link for Twitch. Yeah.
this way. Hopefully be able to buy a shield. Not that type of shield. Let's see, so what I should do is check out this room. Make a smaller target. And then go back over here by this again. Because then I'll only get 10 max energy bonus from this. But I'll be smaller and still have health. Which pretty much allows every future, future fight to be a win if I do it right. Oh, wait, yeah. yeah. I haven't been in here before. Actually, wait, can I just... No. Let's escape again. That was kind of a waste of time. Ooh, what's this? No. Okay, yeah, so switching the game to not be Scrap Shield. To not being the wrong game completely helps a bit. So at least I noticed that before I finished streaming for the night. Ooh. Critter. The critter with a picture of the critter. Yes. Yes, and yes. Let's see. I already leveled up. itself. Come on, give me the missiles. Okay, what I want to do is go back through and collect all the missiles that I was leaving about. Especially since I just used them all for the first phase of this boss fight.
is even more crit chance, so now I should be at a minimum of 15 at all times with all weapons. Uh, I forget, can I see my stats somewhere? Well, yeah, I can't, but I can. Let's see. No sparkles. Let's go through here and collect these missiles. And then... To the... Far... Oh. Sparkles. Yeah, 10 health. Now, as long as I make sure that I don't use an energy weapon while I can't, I don't have to. Okay. What's the next boss? It's all containers, even locked ones. A bundle of items. So it's not going to be a major loss if I don't. But. There's a pretty good chance that I can get more keys. Okay. I guess uh, I should do that. More health. Going for cheap item shop directly first. Then run over here and pick up the other missile. I might come back for the key. Might focus on dodging these dudes. There's another cheap shot way over there, but then item and other shop are way down. Besides the two keys, but now that I'm back up to four, fifteen bullets, well missiles, I should. My where's the last time? There he is. Should be alright with collecting the other. Ooh, interesting. Missile drones. Aegis. Go directly over and unlock that. It's a humble bundle. Ooh. Or 
Jesus. Let's see, no other boxes in that previous room. Shots now ricochet off walls. Okay, they did that anyhow. But, mm, not for the current floor. Well, you no, know. it just guarantees it. Fifteen percent crit chance when you have an attack speed of like nine or something. Oh. But missiles also bounce. But the high crit chance when you have such high attack speed, it's very useful. Medical emergency. Obviously found enough. Yeah. Take damage. Okay. Yeah. I should. When you enter a new room, as in including ones that I've already been to. Okay. No. Maybe not, actually. Most let's see. Okay, how much does this bounce? Interesting. So, if I do it about... Shop, yeah. Fill some mix of lead. Let's get that. This. Go up here, grab the 
health piece and then go through here. lots of credits here and there's a couple missiles too however I need to remember about the bouncing shots I should go for the boss directly off and then come back through because then I'll have less health for going on to the next floor versus low health for the boss. Speaking of, as I just face tank a whole bunch of things. Okay. Health, yes. Uh, this way. Because I don't want to use my nanite thing until I get to the boss. Because then all of the rockets, well, life fleeching projectiles will hit a target instead of just some of them. I think there's eight of the projectiles. So, more health for when I come back through. Still need more credits for that. All of those are pretty good, but I don't have enough health for any of them. Especially while I'm still trying to make sure that I don't just die to, to entering a room.
bouncing like that. Or missile skates. <sighs> okay, let's go back in here, grab this health thing, and then go and meet these dudes. So, increased spread, increased speed, increased X factor, but the cost of range? Oh yeah, I guess slightly. But these all have a uniform range versus limiting. Beam, flamethrower, mm. salvos upon salvos, increase fire rate, but also increase enemy movement speed, minor missile. this area, collecting health. That's one thing this game is more generous than most roguelikes with, is it gives lots of health. Not so much shields, but pretty much constant supply of health. sell one of those old weapons. Okay. Let's go directly up here. So there's that key card. Okay. I think I have everything then. Let's see, that's the phase. 
this module. I apparently didn't loot everything. And Puzzle Master, collect all health shards and explore all rooms. Let's go up first. That will be useful, because then I can go to one of those two shops directly and just buy a free thing. Hopefully the shields are there, or one of them's selling the extra shields, because then that's a free shield. I'm not exactly sure what that last mysterious circuit did. Oh yeah, the mysterious circuits are similar to the Binding of Isaac pills, where they will randomly have an effect. Based on some thing or something. Orbiting defense, well, station. That's pretty good. Because now I just need to make sure I don't block a bunch of shots with it. Or at least not until the boss fight. a salvo of 11 bullets and a cone burst. The slightly more damage, slightly more energy efficient, but slightly less range.
shards got gotten. These bulkhead looking things will drop debris when you break them that can be very close to nigh being invisible if you aren't paying attention for it so you want to just keep shooting at them until you're sure all the pieces are gone before you run through it. Major item room. Hmm. major attacks on energy which no, I don't use the energy weapons much when I do I tend to just spam it This entire time has been a bit loud. You know, it's at 2 and 3%. I'd imagine hearing a loud ding, 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 ding as I fire would be annoying. Very heavily covered the key. All sorts of missiles, a couple experience bombs. Okay, so it has phase module, plasma pusher, and survival pack. Might do that. to remember that I have a free item from a shop. Actually, I don't even need to do this because this is the final floor for this run. Next run, it will be longer, but as long as this run doesn't end up be getting corrupted. Next run should actually be working. And can actually like... 
exist for more than a single run. Let's see. It doesn't appear to be... Ooh. More missiles. Which is almost perfect timing for this thing. Spawner early. The phone again. What's with the phone? This was supposed to be a defense room. Okay. Well, apparently, I'm going back to here and collecting this for a simple. Where's the closest teleporter? Yeah, probably right back there. Yeah. For a simple. Come on. Right room. Thirty-six. Yeah, thirty-six credits. Oh, I didn't activate it though. Let's switch back to the other one. This will take me to the boss room. Oh wait, actually. Let's see. By one item free. Does that include the devil deal shops? Come on, teleport me to the right room. This one's not the right room. This one is. Honestly, more chance to just trip dodge anything is great of course i just ran through that okay black hole shield will be useful bam level up let's get more crit chance nope went too far Jimmy! Oh, I got hit. Let's see, wait until after the room is finished to pick up the health item.
Jimmy. Jimmy. Of course, there's another one of these. Oh, look, the Warthog came back. Let's see, like, that crit chance, though. shield well if I get hit enough that I need to heal there's so far six health here I got a black hole item got more missiles oh, yeah let's pick them up the warden Close, close, close. Oh, got hit. And finished. And yet they threw that head in the incinerator anyway. of the room was explored it's P gained oh gives bonus experience for accuracy eh, makes sense I lost 57 health and took 44 hits Wow on shield overall completion 33% win streak one runs one two runs lost zero Runs abandoned to enemies. I've only lo unlocked three. Or what? Incredibilities. Zero out of twelve used. One with zero out of twelve. Items. One out of three hundred and thirty-five locked. Eighty-nine found. Challenge rooms zero zero condemned enemies zero out of fourteen locked two out of fourteen locked unsurvived bosses zero of twenty two locked eight out of twenty two killed many bosses seven out. ooh 
Look at all these. Locked. Only three of them are still locked. A couple of them are yet not yet found because I haven't gotten to the longer runs yet. file. Uh, let's see. That's gonna be all for tonight. I'll work on getting to our working tomorrow for tomorrow. See ya.